I'm Ryan from Prima, and this is the Malconig E80W GBS. The Melconic E80W grind by sync represents a significant leap forward in espresso grinding technology, integrating precision grind by weight capability with intelligent synchronization and automated grind adjustment. And what you get is a combination of near perfect dose accuracy from Melconic's grind by weight tech, but also cloud connectivity between the grinder and select La Marzocco espresso machines like this Linea S behind me allowing you to program and automatically maintain a set yield and brew time. Before we get deeper into this, I wanna talk about why this is important. Grind by Sync Tech virtually eliminates the need for manual intervention by baristas, particularly during peak hours where traditional espresso grinders might need frequent adjustments. And this allows baristas to focus on crafting each drink confident that the grinder is repeatedly hitting the program dose weight within a tenth of a gram and continuously optimizing grind size on its own to produce the desired yield at a specific brew time. All right, so let's talk a bit about how this works. The E80W GBS is equipped with Melkunig's disc distance detection system, which uses two sensors and a small electric motor. One sensor detects the position of the adjustment gear that drives the axial movement of the main shaft, which is connected to the rotating burr. And there's a second sensor on the electric motor itself that drives the adjustment gear. And these two sensors allow distance between the two burrs to be set precisely within an accuracy range of only one one thousandth of a millimeter. So we've established that the GBS is grinding coffee by weight into the portafilter, hitting your target dose every time, no matter the grind size, within a tenth of a gram. And it also is able to adjust its own grind size automatically via sensors and a dedicated motor. Now the other half of this equation is the La Marzocco espresso machine, which takes on the work of brewing to a specific weight-based or volumetric yield, depending on your machine, while simultaneously tracking the brew time. So let's say I've dialed in a shot the way I like it. I can then input the yield into the espresso machine and the total brew time into the programming menu of the grinder. Now, the sync system acts as a bridge between the separate data clouds of the Marzocco and the GBS, allowing them to share data. And as you begin brewing espresso, an algorithm within the GBS is monitoring your total brew time compared to your program brew time, and then adjusting grind size in small increments to match the two together. Now, even though you'll get the most from the grind by sync system by pairing your grinder to a Marzocco espresso machine, this feature and this grinder as a whole is still very useful for cafes using other models or brands of espresso machines. For one, you can manually program burr distance in the menu of the E80W GBS, which is a very precise way of replicating grind size between two or really any number of grinders at different locations. In addition, zero calibration can be done from the menu and requires no tools or disassembly of the grinder. Both are great reasons to consider this grinder versus a standard grind by weight version. Even if you're not using the sync feature, this grinder acts just like a standard E80 grind by weight, but it also allows you to save that sync capability for another espresso machine down the road. The E80W GBS is compatible with AV and ABR versions of the Linea Classic S, Linea PB, GB5S, KB90, and Strata S. And if you have an older version of one of these machines without IoT, La Marzocco does offer an IoT upgrade kit to get you in the game. So I've had the chance to pull quite a few shots with this system here in the office and develop some first impressions that I wanna share with you. So here are some of my top considerations that I think you should make before committing to a grind by sync system. First, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections aren't always the most reliable. And and when they fail, the GBS can still operate in grind by weight or grind by time modes when needed. However, adjusting grind size manually requires navigating through two submenus, and there is no collar on this grinder for quick on-the-fly grind adjustments. Second, always dial in your shot outside of GBS mode first. If you don't start out really close to the right grind size, the machine will kind of chase its tail because it can't auto purge. If it makes any big changes to grind size, you should purge it manually. 
Third, using a puck press or another method of perfectly consistent tamping is highly recommended with this system. Inconsistent tamping can lead to channeling, which may cause the GBS to misinterpret the flow rate and overcompensate the grind. Since the human element is a weak point in the GBS system, ensuring tamping precision, just like your yield, your dose, and your grind size adjustments will help maintain shot consistency. Fourth and finally, when dialing in espresso, there are a few key dynamic variables to adjust depending on the scenario and your preference. And those are dose, yield, and most importantly, grind size. With the GBS, however, none of those can be adjusted in complete isolation. Because the system relies entirely on brew time for its data, any single change to dose, yield, or grind size will trigger the machine to readjust the grind to maintain the programmed brew time. For example, to lock in a new setting, make your adjustments, pull a shot, evaluate the results, and then reprogram the grinder with the new brew time. Now for midday tweaks, I really recommend skipping this process altogether and instead using time as your primary dynamic variable. Now this way the GBS will automatically adjust the grind size to hit your desired brew time. We're indirectly controlling grind through the use of time as a variable. And this will really streamline the process of dialing in and reprogramming to just a few seconds. So that's been an overview of the E80W Grind by Sync and some of our first impressions using the system. In the future, we hope to get this grinder into one of our local cafes so we can get you some real perspectives from baristas on how this system plays out in a real world environment. But for today, thank you so much for watching and happy brewing.